You asked me if an ordinary person, by studying hard, would get to be able to imagine these things like I imagine. Of course, I was an ordinary person who studied hard. There's no miracle, people. It just happens they got interested in this thing, and they learned all this stuff. They're just people. There's no talent, a special miracle ability to understand quantum mechanics or a miracle ability to imagine electromagnetic fields that comes without practice and reading and learning and study. So if you say, you take an ordinary person who's willing to devote a great deal of time and study and work and thinking and mathematics and time, then he's become a scientist. Drag your feet if you're walking down the street, but they wouldn't ever notice if you tried. You're never gonna eat unless you turn up all the heat. And the man on table six wants it fried. They teach you all. In their playgrounds and their schools But the silly little fools think you can But nothing they can do Is big enough for you And the way they want to go Won't take you there You can try to run away but it happens every day And they would never notice if you cry Everything that they say Helps you find your perfect way But you would never know it If they lie They teach you Playgrounds and their schools, but the silly little fools think you care. Nothing they can do is big enough for you. The way they want to go won't take you there. Follow clouds as they pass by But it's not the kind of thing that really pays Look into the inner eye Find another alibi It's not the way to spend your Playgrounds in their schools, but the silly little fools think you can. But nothing they can do is big enough for you. The way they want to go won't take you there. Esoteric stuff that I worry about. I don't think I can describe very well what it's like. First of all, it's like asking a centipede which leg comes after which. It happens quickly, and I'm not exactly sure what flashes and stuff go in the head. But I know it's a crazy mixture of partially equations, partial solving of the equation, 
than having some sort of picture of what's happening that the equation is saying is happening, but they're not that well separated as the words I'm using. And it's a kind of a nut, nutty thing. It's very hard to describe, and I don't know that it does any good to describe it. And I, that is something that struck me that's very curious. I suspect that what goes on in every man's head might be very, very different the actual imagery or semi-imagery which comes. And that when we're talking to each other at these high and complicated levels, and we think we're speaking very well, and we're communicating, but we're, what we're really doing is having some kind of big translation scheme going on for translating what this fellow says into our images, which are very different.